that wouldn't be any good. Alan is afraid. <laughs> I am not afraid. I am just not interested. Now, now, hold it. Can you walk and talk? Of course. Hmm? Can you sing? You heard my national anthem. <laughs> so? <laughs> Mr. Moore, let's just forget it, okay? Okay, rehearsal, three o'clock. Anybody who's late puts a dollar in the cast party collection. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. If I'm not interrupting anything too important, I was wondering if you might give me the homework assignment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, certainly. Uh, the relationship of Hoover to the Kennedys. It's chapter 15. Thank you very much. What is it with Alan, anyway? I mean, is it me or just theater generally? Actually, Alan used to be kind of a fun guy. Yeah, he used to be okay. I mean, I didn't always agree with him, but we had some real laughs. What happened? Well, his father passed away. After that... <laughs> From the top... Hi. Hi. Uh, Darlene, you ready? Oh, no. Alan, I forgot. Sorry. Uh, what? We're debating Bronx science next week, and Darlene and I are practicing tonight. We made plans. Lighten up, Alan. Oh. Mr. Moore, would you Mr. Moore, me? you said this wasn't going to interfere with schoolwork. That's what I said. I'll get my stuff. I'll be outside. Oh. Oh. Alan, wait. Uh, listen, uh, I will be right back. You continue. Hey, uh... I know what you're going to say, Mr. Moore. I'm selfish, I'm rigid, and I'm putting my own needs ahead of Darlene's. Well, no, I wasn't going to say that. I, I was going to say I thought you were right. You know, school is more important. And we are having a lot of fun in there. Still time for you to join us. I'm not into fun. There comes a time in life where you have to put the childish things aside and get serious. Playing's an important part of life, you know. I mean, don't. Give it away so easily. It's not that simple. A lot of things have changed lately. I heard about your father, Alan. Mr. Moore, it's because of that that my mother can't afford to put me into a school like Yale or Harvard. Now, I've got one chance, and that's if I'm good enough to win a scholarship. That's what he wanted for me, and I don't want to let him down. Well, I think he would have been proud. But why does that mean you have to change into a different person? Mr. Moore, I don't think being a walk-on in your musical is going to turn my life around. Yeah, but you are holding back a part of yourself that we all like, Alan. See, I, if you're doing that to please your father, I don't think it's something that he would want. Do you? Really? Look, uh, the show will go on. Without you, without me, it's... It's just that I want to see you be part of something right now. I want to see you connect with people. It's important. Maybe I made too much of a, a big deal about this debate thing. I'm sorry I interrupted your rehearsal. Would you please tell Darlene it can wait? Sure. she singing this verse? I should be singing this verse. At least let me hold on to that. Oh, oh come please. on. Let it, me break. it may interest you to know that I have a rather large following. <laughs> and they're going to be very upset seeing me reduced to playing a, a nothing role in a ticky-tacky musical. First of all, it's a terrific musical. And secondly, there are no nothing roles. There are only nothing actors. That's it. Oh, man. That's it. Manfred. You can take this turkey and stuff it. Oh, come on, Manfred. Now, we don't have that many days left. Mr. Moore, I thought about what you said, and, uh, well, if there's a little something I can do, I guess I'd like to be a part of all this. <laughs> Mr. Moore, I've changed my mind. I don't think I can do it. I just wanted to give you some time to get someone else. Time? I, you're on in 20 minutes. 
I realize it's rather short notice. <laughs> myself and they're gonna hate me no 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 you're gonna go out there you're gonna make a fool of yourself and they're gonna love every minute of it continue in a moment. 